Hello there App Spy viewers, my name's Peter and I've got a hands-on preview video for you. This time it's with Till Morning's Light. Till Morning's Light is from WayForward and Amazon Game Studios and it is a, I suppose you'd call it a horror adventure puzzle sort of a game. Uh, so you're playing as Erica and uh, you have been led into a, a creepy looking house, abandoned, theoretically, uh, kind of house and uh, these two mean girls have been like, oh, you should totally, I bet you'd like this kind of house. You're all into this weird stuff. Uh, and you're like, oh, no, no, no. And then you get locked in and you're having a look around and uh, the game sort of plays out from there. You've got this flashlight and uh, quite good lighting effects in here. I'm using the virtual stick to just wander around now. And uh, I'm going to go over here, see if I can open this door. I'm just tapping on these doors. Locked. What am I doing? That is an excellent question. Who said that? The polite thing would be to first introduce yourself. E Erica. What are you doing in my house, Erica? These girls from school, they sort of locked me inside. But if you could show me the way out, I'd be happy to leave. Oh, I'm afraid that won't be happening. Um, please? Don't run. You'll only make this messier than it needs to be. Ah! Help. So now what we're doing is we're getting into the combat and we have to touch the timed rings when they overlap, as the game is explained to us now. And if we do so, then we continue to deal out damage to this, uh, I don't know, it kind of looks like a turtle thing. If we mistime it, then we take damage ourselves, and you'll see that we've got our damage gauge at the bottom. Their damage gauge is at the top, and we've dropped a key. Uh, well, they've dropped a key, I should say. So we can go to, into our inventory, and we can see here that we've got a key there, and this is our map. We can s toggle between these different areas to, to to look at different parts of the thing and we can zoom in as well and we can see that we've got a locked room there on the side so we can go ahead and go to that uh, area we're going to close the map there um did anybody notice the voice actor who is the mysterious voice there uh what if i were to say snake oh i'm here in shadow moses um that's a oh, that, that is I, I thought that i thought that impression was going to be better it's cam clark who plays liquid snake in uh, the Metal Gear series. Uh, Cam Clark is the voice of, um, I don't know, the dude in the house, I suppose you might say. So this is going to show us some of the other elements of the game. Um, we can tap to move. We can also use the virtual stick, as I, as I mentioned earlier. And I can go ahead and grab some extra items. So I've got a medicine bottle. And uh, I'm picking up these bits of money and the stuff lying around the house. And uh, I'm going to go ahead, over here and grab this green thing. Now these are clues, and these will help you solve puzzles. So what does that mean? Well, if we go to this clues section, I'm going to touch here, and we can see that here's a photo. It's quite sweet. Look at it. And then if we move this round, they're cute. We can see that we have Miami Saturday morning, 10:15:30. So what could that possibly mean? Well, let's exit out of here uh, and uh, go back to the gameplay. I'm going to grab these coins. What's this over here? So something is over here. We're going to tap on anything. this. It doesn't do anything. Oh, that's unfortunate. What about these clocks? Can we do anything How with I... the clocks? Nope. Nothing to do with the clocks. Hmm. Hmm. What can we do then? Nothing. Uh, well, we should probably have a look around. Ah, okay. Let's... Let's see if we can this exit out here. Nothing. This is getting frustrating. And no, there's nothing there either. Is there anything over here? Hmm. No. Oh, what's this? Aha! Some kind, of crank. some kind of crank. So some cranks have been added. What does that do? Aha. I think this might be a puzzle. So obviously I've been playing these sections before. And um, uh, it is... It's quite a nice little exploratory kind of a game uh, in the Resident Evil mold of doing things, which I think is actually, it is an old school survival horror in that regard, in that you're moving from room to room to room and it's probably best to just kind of try to avoid combat as best as you possibly can, although obviously sometimes that's inevitable. Um, and, uh, oh, I'm getting messed up here. 
And uh, yeah, like, moving through, finding keys, figuring out slightly obtuse puzzles, that is Resident Evil style. Uh, we're gonna use, we're collecting the Ecto there, as uh, the game has just noted. Yeah, it's, it's, it's an old Resident Evil style of making games, and I don't think that that's a bad thing at all. This kind of game isn't made very often anymore, and uh, I think that Till Morning's Light is doing a really great job of it. I also think that it it looks really strong. This combat might not be the most exciting in the world. I you know I could I could take it or leave it. I suppose uh, I'm going to try and run away from this thing, but it's not going to happen. The combat's not the most exciting thing. Um, it's just tapping these things at the right the right time. But it's fine, and it keeps you on your toes. And you can uh, you can die quite easily. You know if you if you have a, a couple of rough bouts of combat, then yeah, you're going to end up in some serious bother. Now, where is the other clock? So we've done this one over here. I think we might have one more over here. Is that right? Yes, we've got one more over here. We're going to try and avoid that creature. Da -da -da -da. Using that item to get into here. And another. And another. And they're going to bring some more creatures in. Voice acting is pretty good. Cam Clark is as amazing as he always is. One of my favourite voice actors there. Um, and uh, the, the voice actor... Uh, voice actress, I should say, for the for the lead is is pretty strong as well. There's there's some really good intro cinematics that go with this that where the actress really does get across how terrified she is that she's about to go into this this dark and foreboding uh, kind of a place. Oh, come on! But this yeah, this combat kind of slows the game down a little bit from what you want to do, which is of course move around the environment, the lovely environment, um, and solve these puzzles and move the story forward. Are we going to have to have another fight? No? Okay. Oh, yes we are. Marvellous. So I'm going to use my torch here and do that. The fact that they look like army helmets that are also sort of turtles with wings yeah, it doesn't... Uh, isn't fantastic, I suppose. Uh, there we are. Okay, good. We've done that. So we're going to go to here. And we can then add these items. You saw that we were picking up clock hands on the way, and we've added them, but nothing's really nothing's really happening, and you'll remember 10, uh, 10, 15, 30, I think was the time on the clock, and if we pop that there, then there we are. We've solved a puzzle. This is super early on in the game. I didn't want to give away too much of what happens later on. Uh, but this is Till Morning's Light. It's coming out, well, it's scheduled to come out on the 21st of May. It's from WayForward and Amazon Game Studios. And I think if you're a fan of old school survival horror games, this is certainly going to be one to keep an eye out for. This is Peter with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.